Marshall to 10. With a turnover, it's Butler the other way from behind. He had a couple of shots, swiping at the ball. But he... White will curl into the paint. What I like here in this first quarter, he already has five free throw attempts. Caleb Martin with a three. He's Back in the game for the Heat. Bio into three defenders. Gets it back out. Robinson's in. And shot clock at seven. Butler with a three. Ring it up for Jimmy Butler. His third made three of the evening. One of the biggest legendary. Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history. Plays for every other team's in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics. Dave Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering his better defensive set? That's the question. They're walking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball in, in, in so long, and I'm so passionate in it. I love the game, and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang. So all my emotion came out at one time. Was it the right way to do it? No, but I can't control that when I'm out there competing. Like, that's my love of the game. That's raw me, me at my finest, me at my purest. That's what you're gonna get. I'm not gonna take it offense. It's not personal. Jimmy, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in, I don't know how long, I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is the playoffs. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. And we, we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open-minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes. I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So, um, you know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason, I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Um, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know, Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, it's a hard drive. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player, has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al, Al is willing to do everything. And somebody at this, at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot. 
but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they can try to protect him from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics. But there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams. But the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the zone, we have to make quicker passes and be better specifically against the switches, guys. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backcourt and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports. It's Rich Spitter here, and I am here with my next broadcasting partner, and I am here to bring it back. It's time to race. That's right. As we're ready to see this next game, this is game five of the Eastern Conference Finals. Both teams are tied up for two, but now this will be the chance for a lead in between the seventh seed of the underdog of the Miami Heat against the number one seeded team of the Boston Celtics. 
These are the two that we are looking for. Who's going to take the next bucket and make the win? Find out after the final quarter of the game. And this will be a chance for a 3 2 lead scores in between Miami or Boston. Now, the next commentator, I will have it across the airway. And this will be our next one to have it all. This one, it calls for paintbrush, and it's also along with the other two, as we've got our great ones to take with Son of Peace and the third commentary of the crew, Life Ray. And we will see you all later for the post game show. Now it's time to get started. Let's roll! Hey everybody, it's Pay Punch and we are here at the TV Garden Arena. A great match of in between the Eastern Conference by the Heat and the Celtics. And I am here with my broadcasting partners in between. Tonight's matchup in between is Drew Jalen Brown and Jimmy Butler. The only other small four position that will be ready to take things on and ready to have them prepare for the matchup. For this game, it is now a close-up of the mix. Right in between of a tight series in between of the two, between the Heat and the Celtics. Now they're playing it really well. I know that Jimmy Butler was making a lot of basket range out there. He's really likely he's been putting in a career in a better situation. Now he's looking for a chance here in game number five to make the lead or Jason Tatum to make that cut out. It's a tough one. I think this one should be a great matchup in between. Let's find out who can take it. Ball set that we are ready to go. Jason Tatum will have his first one as his appearances, and right now he's on the screen. Porzingis for three. Starting for the three-pointer, makes it in. That will be the first three-pointer for KP on the outside, as Boston Celtics are starting up ahead. Playing it Sean for KP. He doesn't really mention it that Al Warford has a lot of message for KP. He's playing it really well, but now he's better at messages. He wants to try to make a defending champ. He's playing in big and bound to go with the impact. It might be a bigger way to get through it, but this might be one chance at first. I like that Jimmy Butler has been doing well. Playing it for some reason is it wasn't really him mentioning. Can't be letting that off. Missed on the two-pointer on the effort. Butler with his own rebound, not finding hero. Yeah, I'm Butler. Butler. For a try, and he stopped. That will be the first foul on Boston. With seven minutes remaining in the first, that will be his first personal and a first team foul for Boston. You know what the cutting bound has happened for Jimmy Butler? That has to be where they're taking the layup in here. This one needs to have that one on the eye zone. He found himself with a clear messaging. He's trying to put it by a layup through. Not playing it on his better epic out there, but he's really trying to look for another way to get in. First free throw coming up for Jimmy Butler with only seven minutes remaining in the first once again. Jimmy Butler's trying to bring us another way to get this one offended because they beat both teams on top and bound. First, they beat the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round, and this one was not always clear enough that they played it for in against the second seed team. Then, he beat against the other team. That was another one of his, his third seed team. And it wasn't really easy enough for the Cleveland Cavaliers to score big right in between. Jimmy Butler destroyed Donovan Mitchell. Now, his next victim might be an next courtesy if they will have another strength to keep it in here. Will this be another career in total shots? We'll see what happens with Jimmy Butler. Hey, better scores are never going to be easier. I might say that this is not going to be helpful enough to make that one make a move, but let's show how it's done. KP, this is a three. High speed for the rebound, that'll be his first one tonight. Still up again, now finding again to Bougie. Now Bougie will have his chance right now on his point guarding position, now finding another open look. The bounce pass to Hero. Hero, for the step number two. This one rolls in and out, and it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. On his attack, looking his way down to Derek White. Here he comes to drive, and he gets it in. No foul on the beat. Now it puts it up in a one point lead of possession. Play that drive from Derek White. Has to be a right time to get that in there. He found a great room, good attacking turn to rim. That's going to be an easier way to take. Butler from the outside. He finds Lucier. Avon Ice Smith for the first three of the night. Goes in. That one sinks the triple. That by two. Seven to five is the score as we're getting down by five, the six minute mark. And Drew Holiday will now try to make another new changeoff. He's over and out to Porzingis. Porzingis now playing white. 
White for the outside, Tyler Gerard defending him. Finds again to Holiday. Five to shoot. Makes his way across with a shot. Foul, and this one goes on Bam on a buyer. That'll be his first foul for Miami. Five three to go in the first. Drew Holiday at the free throw line. That's a little bit too much playing in on the defense. That one's going to be a crash on his own. He's just trying to try to take the ball out of here. But then, nope, that is on the turn. That is going to count it at a foul. First free throw coming up for Drew Holiday. Hasn't been really scoring it right in between him, but he wants to have his own time to get right in from his own. First free throw, good for Drew Holiday. And like I said before, Drew Holiday is like doing really well, and just how professional he is, and then this is what never happens now. Playing it for some of the reels of this game, I mean, he is accountable to take it all. Well, it happened to be after, after Marcus Smart was being left alone, and he's definitely out of here, has been playing with another team that don't help them out. But at that moment that they're missing out was John Morant. They really are expecting to let him play it for a lot longer with the season. They're not really are expecting right now to play him for real, but I'm hoping that Jamarcus Smart may be able to play against the Boston Celtics, where the Grizzlies and the Celtics. Hopefully there is another contact in between, so I'm hoping there's a great, great effort to take it from here. Five to shoot, here's Tyler Hero. And a deep three will be Butler up, and this one he missed. All in and rebound, down five minutes. Tying the score up here for seven. Layup, no good. Now it's up to to Heisman. Here's a fast, great chance. This one gives it off to Bam on a bio, and this one will be rebounded over again. The butt with to Rogier. Heisman, for the number chance for three. This one sinks a triple. And they're up by three. As Heisman has a second three pointer of the night. Playing it for real big on high spin is done because if my last season wasn't really close enough to make that one in there. I know it didn't really turn out the way that you were supposed to do, but they gotta let them go through. Here's a chance effort to Butler up and then this one goes up. Shooting Butler out to number two pointer. That is a 12 7 run for the Heat. Now that play, what did he play off had to be my Jimmy Butler way to be going for? There may not be anyone that can try to save it all. And a drive makes it in for Derek White. No one can change in there this season. This happened to be a great game. Yoshiro will now find it over to Kiro. Off the high spin. Another three pointer for three. That's good. That is nine points in the game after Kiro with the assist. And like it says before, here's Drew Holiday trying to get the score up here without Martha Smart. Let's see how well he can do. Hopefully this will be a great one to take. And it's stolen by Rogier. Here comes Butler with a drive. And it goes in. Butler with 11 points. After David Eisman with a steal, he makes that one over and makes the drive. Great of all encounter enough to make that one for Highsmith, and he had that one with a passing over. After that steal, that point guard position is not playing it really well. He has to try to be thinking of something else and get right from here. KP way on Bam on my own, and now here's White. White over to Tatum. Five to shoot. A chance ever on the play for Tatum. Missed the two, and Vegas will grab the rebound. Timeout remains being called by Miami Heat, but three or two to go in the first. Now they needed to talk that one over right now because they can't be playing like this at all times. Because they need to get this one a lot of his courtesy strength, they need to find another way to get through. And like they said before, I well, congratulate to the Boston Celtics of the Finals champion, earned their 18th title of this year in 2024. This one was been so long for 16 years after a loss against the Golden State Warriors in 2022, but now they beat the Mavericks. They are the best teams in the house right now in the Eastern Conference. You say how oh, this one is going for good, their set of beasts? Yes, I love that team. Boston Celtics has been the best one for our overall team. Everybody loves it. The Blade Green never really stops at slow that one down, but they are making a different gear from everywhere else. Yeah, definitely the true thing is. I mean, considerately my ultimate of the better team and the franchise scores, they're really loving it. Gotta bring the people in back together. Hopefully there's another great chance opportunity for two more to get 20 of them. 
We'll find out if it's real. And Jalen Brown, MVP. I love it. Making his way in for the combat switches. Better for being playing real than you know it. Substitutional on the court right now as Miami Heat and the Celtics are making new changes. D'Lon Brink checks in for Terry Rozier. As Hockey Sheeter checks in for Heisman. Martin Robertson and Jovic are checked in. The Celtics make new changes. All five players checked out. Drew Holiday now switches over to shooting guard as Pritchard is checked in with Hauser, Al Warford, and Moore Sr. Here's the tape. Over to pass the Hawkins. For the two, right around Sam Hauser makes it in. Hawkins shooting with his first bucket. That will be the first two pointer in game five. Nothing to say right now for Hawkins Jr. after playing for the UCLA team. They really are expecting that Hawkins Jr. might be playing what they've got. Al Horford in the middle. The drive. Great D that time. And this one will put back in. Horford's got his first two bucket. Boston trail by six. Gives it off to Hawkins for the drive. Yes, you do. Hawkins for the first throw down of the night. Silent in the crowd. 21 to 13. Oh, not my time to watch that one here for Hawkins Jr. I was really expecting that. This would be one end, dunk down, make a finish. Here's Jovic. Off the deal on right, and the finish will put in a great pass for Jovic. That'll be his first assist of the night. Hey, the underdog teams is not putting it up a big victim for here, but I'm betting on they got to do well. Under 90 seconds in the first, Richard up. It's a solid deep performance here for, for Jovic. Now he's over to Robinson. Here's Kellen Martin. Third of triple. Off again, and this will be Tillman Sr. with his first rebound. Over, trying to find a screen over to Pritchard. He finds Horford. Horford, right toward the middle, trying to put a step back in for two. Oh, that's another two pointer from the score for Al Horford, and now it's back the other way to do on right. Here's a pass to Caleb Martin. Miami bearing a change here for the passing of the ball. Gives it over down to Caleb Martin and finding Jovic. Jovic gets a hot guest unit for the two. Denied by Hauser. That's his first rejection of the night. Hauser trying to make his way in now, and it, it makes a setback. The pass over. Open look. Got it in time. Great pass by Al Warfare with 25 seconds. I saw it Senior with his first bucket. Don't get uncomfortable, don't get celebrated too early, but that's what Dylan Senior is really doing. Get that in there. Elon Wright now finds the pass to Hawkins Jr. He now has it over to Kelly Martin. Looks it over, down to Robinson. Robinson, they give off to Jovic. And here's a shot for Hawkins. Six points in a game. Hawkins has got his first bucket, third bucket. And it's another bucket. Off the rim and no apple chopping. We haven't seen anybody making it that point, but that's it for the first quarter. Great tightness in the scoring round of a chance, and we will get you settled in to start the second quarter. Miami here up front with the 25-17 game. Be right back after this. And if you just joined us, we are ready to start the second quarter at TD Garden Arena. I have a little bit of a great range out there as a great first quarter has been starting things off. I'm going to give it over to you guys. Well, they have to do a lot of maintaining. There's a lot of ways that they can try and like go with the pros and cons in between Miami Heat and Boston Celtics. They really are starting to make them prepare, but I'm hoping that the secondary lineup might be a little bit of a change off to get it through. Well, it could have been stronger than that, but I don't know if this will be a chance. Let's see what they do. The starting group for Miami. Terry Rozier is with Josh Richardson. Then on the Miami center. Connie Skip is with Jimmy Butler from small four. For the Celtics. Derek White, he's with Moore Senior. They and Pritchard with Sam Hauser. And Jason Tatum is one four. Rozier the third with his first bucket. As Richardson with his first assist. Don't get started up here for Josh Richardson. He had made that one a pass from the start. Tatum for three. In and out. 
Yamanalei with the rebound now finds it over again to Highsmith. Looks it over now to Rogier. He gets it over now to Richardson. Give it a go. Almost deflected. Butler with a step up two. And that's another bucket for Jimmy Butler. Eight points in the game. Passing down, seven minutes to start in the second. Here's Tatum. Off to Brown. They don't get it back. Find the pass. We're seeing it for three. That's another miss by Boston Celtics. They're not shooting it really well. They have to try to make another way to make the move out of it. They can't play it like this at all. If they don't have the right setup, they got to do something else. Wow, Butler! Racing his way to the paint. That's 10 points in the game, and he is on fire. That hustling man. Gotta watch your step here, Jimmy. Here's Derek White. Forcing is for three. Another chance is no good. Rogier with the rebound now, has it again to Highsmith. Highsmith now has it in Van Montebayo. And almost lost the ball as he recovers it again as Butler has it. Gives it now to Anabayo. Anabayo will now has it in out to Rogier. Step back for two. Can't get the bucket in there as Porzingis with the rebound. Brown on the attack. Looking in, he's got bucket one. Jalen Brown. What a finish. As Butler with his first foul of the night. They just don't start that on. What is all the use of it? I knew that Jalen Brown was really doing it. Fast at a sprint. He's making his way on a clear look at the interview drive. With a new group on a substitution, as Pritchard has checked in for the Celtics. Rogier is bringing Tyler Bureau back on court from Robinson. Find the lane. Richardson. Excuse me. One shot. Brown hits the free throw. We've under six minutes remaining. Here's Rogier. Pass over now, finding Highsmith. Looks it over again, now finding Butler. Butler, stepping in for number two, makes the drive. That's 12 points for Jimmy Butler in game five. You have to be the right consecutive on this one here. That man is aggressive. He's really like pushing his way in there. That inbound is not going to leave him out there at all. Playing it in there doesn't mean anybody he can get there through. Here's Porzingis for two. Go! There's another two-pointer and a score here, down by Olet. Now he will make a switch over to Butler. Butler gives it over now, finding Rogier. Here's the finish, up and in for Rogier. That's his second bucket. And this one was keeping on going. Yeah, I don't know what they did that. Rogier the third, must have got that one in a better risk. Not a pacing out there. He might be a hard one to keep. Richard, first bucket, no good. Here's White for three. Up the rig. And he gets it over now, back again to Tyler Bureau. He has it now over to Heisman. On to Derek White. Looks it again to Hero. Hero has a pass down to Anabayo. Ranging in front. Give it over now to Rogier. Down to six. Heisman. Rogier. Trying to let Hero shoot it. Up and in. Got it. Tyler Hero with his first bucket to finish off that in the drive motion. In from behind the three point line, free throw line, and this one keeps it on go. On the other way goes back the other three pointer. That's Derek White. Well, what did he expect now? I never saw that one coming. Timeout called by Miami with 4.14 left to go in the second quarter of the game. Let's listen to expect now. I mean, they always expect that Tyler Hero was doing it, but Derek White had to find an answer with that. He got that one coming in. We're getting closer down to the end of the first half, so as of right at this moment, we have a halftime show coming up for you. As the Shad and Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith were ready to pick things on. And this one will be the next setup to have it planned out to make another new setup of the chain. That'll be all the games here that's going to be coming up here very soon for the halftime show. Don't miss that one out with the first half of the cap. Will the Miami will make the rollout over the Celtics? 
and this will be a question on the other side, and for the Boston Celtics, trying to fight back in Game 5 to get right in the second half. There might be an error way to get that one moving by the answer to those two. It's coming up after this. As a couple players are checked out, Butler and Heismith are out, and a new substitution will be Robinson. And as for Heismith is on the, court, on the bench, Celtics bring in a new changes. Drew Holiday back on the court, subbing in for Pritchard. And all hero now finding Butler on Jason Tatum. Looks again to Rogier. Rogier gives it over to Robinson. Robinson with nowhere to go. He will have his first two-pointer in. That's Robinson with his first bucket. And he has his first one in. Can't take the risk out of Duncan Robinson. He's a little bit uncontrolled to himself, but he's trying to find his way if he can get it through. The bounce pass now finds Jalen Brown. Looks it over now for Derek White. Derek White does swinging his way in. On a seven bound in. This one is not going to end. Great defensive effort for Tyler Hero. Never going to stop that one in there. You don't want to miss this up if you can get that one through clearly. Hero now finds Jimmy Butler up for two. And that one puts up a great team for JJD. JT, I meant. And Tatum finishes a drive. This one reaches it up for the right handed leg. Three minutes left in the second. Mosier now finds again to Hero. Hero up and over past the Butler. Butler looking his way across and it's up and up and goes in. As Jimmy Butler has 14 points, reporter from David Aldrich as talking for Jimmy Butler. All this passionate and infuriate interception of how he's playing it with his most type of his career setup on the Bulls. He's never really expecting that he's playing the Chicago Bulls, then at Minnesota Timberwolves, and now his next time is with the Sixers, and finally now he is with Miami Heat. All that step on motion really has to be coming back in. Not what anybody says for J Jimmy Buckets for sure. This really has to be a nickname for him on a hot hands on a street. Really needs to be all of it to keep on a race to the inbounding, and he is trying to let that one go in. And a bio shot. This is the target. Great D by KP. Brown is right toward a quarter. Gives it off to Tatum. Tatum now finding his way in. The pass to Brown for three. That's an enormous miss by Boston. Not scoring in net that much. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with that. The pass off to Terry Rogino. He now has it over to Hero. Hero. White to now find Butler. Butler watching himself closely. Back set for two. Got it. Jimmy. Butler with 16 points. Now it's a 43 29 game. Porzingis right toward the outside. On a bam on a bike. Off to White. And the drive hits in. Great take for Jake Eric White. And it's a timeout will remain on Miami. With 113 left to go, coming down toward the end. And once again, we've got your great ones to make. If you already watched the BFDI TPMT 11, it's been an outstanding one to give you guys because we have another episode to take. The Anime Sanity is back. That's season 2, episode 15. And a new episode, episode 12, is on its way to get right into starting. So with that being said right now, if you already got tickets, the countdown is on. Are you ready for the Anime Insanity and BFDI Tour? You know I am. You know, I'm really excited right now. The New York is the first stop. It's going to be a fantastic. And for everybody, it's going to be a bringing on for all of the people who really wanted to be here. I think this one is going to be an exciting event to have here for the summer event. Bring it on. Of course! You're really expecting that. Everybody can play it like that. 
Not that the same matters, but this really needs to be like all the strict. Suddenly I feel, where's the students? Where's the audience at? We need them. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know what they will do, but hopefully you will find out shortly. Kyle Martin is back on the court, and so right now he's making new changes with Richardson. Summing up with some other players is right now Hawkins Jr. and Jokic are checked in. And for the Celtics, White, Brown, and Tatum are checked out as Hauser, Horford, and Brown moves over. He's Kyle Martin. The back set for two. Martin misses it. Here's Holiday on a chance at work. Nice see by Caleb Martin. Now that place for real, that needs to be on a tight setup chain. Can't let that one go by. Caleb Martin finishing a drive. That will be his first bucket in the first half of the game. Here's another one for Holiday. Holiday now finds for Ziggins. Three seconds remaining in a second. Off the Bowser for the triple. He has it out and got it in time. Makes it for three quarter of the night for Sam Hauser in game five. Gotta believe it when you feel it. Here's another one for Calabarian. In the corner, covered up by Al Borkman. And now he has it over Richardson. Gives it off to Jovic. Jovic for the drive. Oh, what is this? I have never seen anyone doing it like that. Not with all the fancy of the move, that has to be Jovic with the better of playing. He decided to do it this way. Brown misses the clip and that will end the first half. 47-34 is the score and we are down to the halftime show. Alright, let's send you down to David Aldridge as he's staying by courtside. David? Alright, Dave. Thanks very much. Jason, still a close one. What do you think happened there in the first half? Uh, Alright, uh, we got to do a much better job defensively. Uh, we got where we need to be, especially on defensive end, so we got to pick it up second half. Yeah, we'll see if you're more connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. Stay tuned for the second half as we will be back with you shortly after this. Following with the halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny and Jed Smith. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 16 points, two rebounds, and one assist. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles there last time out. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. There was some great offense right now. Working the ball in the good spots, taking what the defense did for them, not forcing them shots. We'll see if they can maintain that difference. And over to Kenny. What did you think about Boston? Well, it's never fun. You play against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense. They didn't matter. They couldn't get the stop. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shooting. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody. With Kevin Harvey. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. At the end of the first half, we welcome you back for the second half as we're ready to get this thing underway in the third quarter. Jimmy Butler has been making a lot of baskets already. Well, with the playable inbound, and I always have to tell you now, he's like a beast. Playing it for a real once that Jimmy Buckets has been really like doing all over again. Been playing it like this before. I don't think nobody has ever seen it. Hey, let's figure it out. now. Could be another way or two? I don't know. We'll find out where this for real. For the start, we're boxing on the group. Holiday is with Derek White. Rosinka is right toward the center. Jalen Brown with Jason Tata. And for the heat, we got Jimmy Butler. He's with Tyler Nero. And it's High Smith right toward the corner. Inside is Rozier and Bam Adebayo in the center. First bucket misses in for the start of a second half. And now Tatum trying to get off to White. Here's Holiday. The slide step back. Goes this way, right near in the line. Covering up the corner, KP with the screen. Brown for the triple, misses it. Holiday will finish it up with the drive using his right hand, and they're now back down again. 47 36. 
scores big right now, but Jalen Brown couldn't get the threes done. He's got to try to find another way to get through it. Bouchier gets over to Hero. Hero now finds it again to Jimmy Butler. Butler now finds Hero. Hero tries to give over to Bam for a triple. Got it! For a rage outside, got it through. That's his first three, three quarter of the night for Bam on a bite. Scoreless so far, not able to take the first half, but he now has his first three pointer to carry it in. Off to Brown for a triple. Misses off the target. And Bam on a bite will have it over again now, finding Highsmith. Here's a chance now for Hero. The cut by Bougier. Up it goes in. Got it. Rozier third. Six points in the game and Tyler Hero with the six. You know how it's compact? Because of that happens with Tyler Hero. He found a good open look. He's way open. He said, yep, take it over. I will have that one going in if you can get that one straight. Play for real. Through all he's now going home this time. Rozier now finds the pass to Terry Tyler Hero. The bounce pass to Butler. Butler, for a step back, he is a ripping rocket fire with 18 points. 5.42 left, 54.38. Now, as I expected for Jimmy Butler, been bucking and made. Round for a triple. Come on! Makes it in there. As this one goes back up to the 54.41. Who's here? Now it's his way right down here on Drew Holiday. Gets it over now to Taylor Hero. Heroes makes a switch over now finding Butler. Butler gets it over now finding Highsmith. Highsmith pulls it back again to Butler. Butler with nowhere to go with another step back for two. That's missed. Two shots missed so far. As now Brown will have a chance to take it over. Great cut down. No foul given on Miami. With the comparison in between a Brown and Butler. All at the same for now. The Jared Brown's like storming right now. It's like, okay, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it, so give it up already. There's no way out there. They're trying to like leave it open with the room. Spected it! Don't let this change over if they can. Butler now finds Hero. Hero over Derek White. That's an arm miss by Miami. KP back to Brown. On his way to White. Got it. Four thirteen left to go in the third. Anabaya trying to roll it over, now finding Hero. Ranging his way through. Gives it off to Butler. The fade off shot. Gives it over now, finding Hero. Watching his way over, trying to get a go look. Hero. Butler for a triple. Bring it up. He makes the three. This one goes in. 21 points of the night after Hero with the six. Can't expect now Jimmy Butler was already been bucking it in now. They were expecting that high fly ball got to go in. Timeout is now called on Boston Celtics for the first timeout in the third quarter of the game. Wow. Do you know that Jimmy is making a lot of buckets out there? I sure do so. They're really like playing how hard that is. But now you can expect Play it in there. That is all the job done. Make it in there, anything happens. The NBA Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. Movement that inspires. AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. And by Adidas. What's the new substitution on the court? It's right now as more senior, Tillman Senior is back on the court. It's right now he's with Pritchard. On the other side of it right now, Jason Tatum trying to look for another way. Hawkins Jr. is back on the court right now with Duncan Robinson. And it's DeLon Wright checking in. Shot for the range, no good. DeLon Wright with the rebound. That's the second rebound of the night. Off to Adebayo on his race down. 
Tony comes down. On to another rocky range. He has five points. Can't say no, Bam Bam Bio's already like scoring the minute. Here's Peyton Pritchard right toward the outside. Now finds Jason Tater. Hawkins Jr. on the cover. The screen for Al Hofer. Up and in, and he's fouled. Duncan Robinson with his first personal. Jason Tatum going to the free throw line, shooting two. Full on for his soldiers. Jason Tatum. Hits the first free throw. When you expect what happened to be Jason Tatum of all the process that he's been playing in now, this is what happens with his lifetime after playing for the University of Duke. This is what he needs to know for. Every finger Jason Tatum for the rookie of the player has to be on a start chain and got to give that one a better credit on the effort. Has to be done, and a better way to do this is to have that right range in time. One of that two free throws were already made, and now here comes out of IOB, over now to Hawkins Jr. A finish up, nice tee on Jason Tatum. Oh, that's not going anywhere this time. Got to stay at it. And what a bucket for Derek White. 59 to 48, they are pulling back down by, you know, I always have the good feelings right now. They are pulling down by 11. Robinson, Yalber, now to the long right. David Aldridge with a report right now as we're calling for what happened to Jason Tatum. Really are expecting how he can play it for like an all in single game of the effort. But have to be all covered in there if he gets more of it done. All it needs to go and over is to all that better effort to take it in now. Now what I know it's expecting right now for, for Jason Tatum, it's really like all the better effort. But this is all what he needs to do for because he's got to give that one up. No ready to make a change up, it's not always easy. Boy, that offensive foul is not turning great. Bat change is over, and they are unaccepting the plays out there. Joe Mazzullo's not happy already. Yeah, I can definitely tell you now. I mean, that is not turning to be a great call and a success. That overturned it, and this one was out for Two. Open the game on Ohio. Still in by Tillman Senior. Here comes White for the finish. Make the drive. 61-50 to score. Down by 11. And he will have to make another timeout with 147 to go. Looking like this one could be a little change up out there. We'll get a quick break and we'll get right back to you soon after the message. Fans, don't miss out with your chance to have a, a better opening or decision as we are ready to have that one with our next new look. Now it's your turn to make us a new selection for the NBA 2K25 for our new teams to be, to be playing against any other team. That will be in between of the Eastern and Western Conference to pick up which one you want to do for the most. That will be happening here in between of NHL 25 and the NBA 2K25. It will be happening here until July 17th and the 18th. That will be on a day of the minute. And keep your eyes peeled here for a new season of the WNBA beginning on August 7th. That will be the first one to keep your eyes peeled on on its first game underway. Only on Son of Peace. Ready to head his way back on the court? Gilvich will now have his man making his way in as he will be having it over with Martin and Robinson. Now has a pass to Kyle Martin. Martin makes a switch. Now finding Robinson. With a no chance effort, he finds a Gilvich. Off to Martin for the three. Got it! He makes the three pointer in there, that is five points. Passing a 90 second mark, it's up 64 50 game. I don't really expect what is going to happen for Caleb Martin. This one's really changing everywhere. Not even expected. Here's Derek White with the screen on Zeman Senior. And a reaching foul will be on Jovic. That is his first personal. And his second team foul on Miami. Makes his way to Pritchard. Over and out of Rosa. With a shot. Up and missed away. Martin with the rebound. Over now to Duncan Robinson. He's in nine to the long right. 
You know, Brian Takas Jr. Jr. now has the lead to Martin. Martin over now to Robinson. Robinson can find an open look. Looks to Martin. Here's a chance. Look a look. Duncan Robinson for two. Back to Huffman and it goes back to Horford. He's not shooting it correctly because Robinson is not really taking his time effort. That secondary lineup is going to be taken very hard to get right from the lane. Nobody is trying to afford it, but this needs to be a correct way to get through it. Right, goes over now to Jovic. Looks to Hawkins and he got that layup in. Uh, he has eight points in the game, and this one will go again to Jovic. That'll be his another assist of the game in game five. Yes, yeah, so you know that I also has been putting in there for Jovic. He found that open room. Why I went to make that one fade and he had that one with a better chance at first, he got a great effort to take a stop out of it, to make a spill, and get through it. For the three, White. Off the rim, and that will be it. No half-court bait. That will be the end of the third quarter. 66 to 50 is your score. And the fourth quarter will be underway soon as you will have a quick break to get back in the work. The Heat are trying to pull the pressure up, looking for itself to make one more win back to game six. We'll be right back after this. As we're ready to start the fourth quarter in Boston. 66 to 15 for week set. And off to start here for the Boston Celtics with the one last group right in between. Here he is with right now with Brochier. Robinson is with Bam on the Highest pick is with Jimmy Butt. And for the Celtics, Drew Holiday, he is with Chris Porzingis. Jalen Brown went right toward a small floor. That's Al Horford went toward a good floor. And take Jason Taylor. A small floor position. And stole by Horford. On a start for the fourth. Here comes Brown. Dams it through. What a takeover. And has a lot of turnovers to put up for Miami. And Boston are trying to bring it back. Now when they're expecting to play right now, but they got to make sure they're all clean enough to get there. Drew Butler wants up the hushing stand over, and Butler from the outside gets down to Ogier. Here's Butler for number two. Got it! Butler racing his way down a 69-54 score. 24 points. Oh, listen to this crowd. They are silent right at this moment. That's because of Jimmy Butler was really like taking it over. I say that this one is really Putting that madness on the house. Not even you all have to know for Jimmy Butler. What a crush out. Finding over Duncan Robinson. And that will make the scoop and drive as Robinson has a second bucket. Here comes Drew Holiday. Finds Jason Taylor. Wolford right toward the outside. The give off look down to Brown. Brown with the finish. Go! That makes a drive out there, and this one will roll it back down again to get another two point score. Now, waiting for a chance effort, it will go into play emotions. He now has it again, Robinson. Robinson watching the baseline as Butler is right now on the outside. Gives it over now to Robinson. For the three, Butler. Offensive rebound for Anamayo. Foul, bucket one. Kristaps Porzingis got it off the target angle as Bam on a bio makes that in. That was no authentic of how that happened to Bam on a bio. You know, that Bam on a bio puts up a rebound, and this one was no joke. That answers out in a serious way to get it through. You have a chance at the free throw line, shooting two for Bam on a bio. And this will be one shot left for the Heat to bring back in. Let's stop. Bam on the bio, it's the free throw. Now here's Brown. 
makes his way across right now on the other side of the court. Pass it again to Jason Tatum for three. Got it! Right for the other side of it to keep it alive. A 74 59 game. And here's Tyler Hero. Finds Adamaya with a race down and drive, and the center got it through. On fire with 10 points. Expecting to play more than they had happen. Not what they do for Jimmy Butler. That's when Bam Adamaya was rushing in. I thought that, that, that half court must have made it and He was trying to pull a full pursuit. Bring it in there. I mean, that's it. said, nah, uh that's what I usually take for. Recovered by Heisman. Over to Bam Adamaya. And got to number one. That's 12 points. After the point the rebound, puts it in for Hayward Heisman. Under five minutes in the fourth. 78 to 59 is the score. Round for three. Able to answer another one. And here's Rochita. Back the airway it goes again to Adebayo. Here's another one. Butler inside. Nobody to cover in there. That's Butler with 26 points. Crowd is gasping out for the underdog team to roll by. Now when you all know for Jimmy Butler, he's been like already scoring in there. His consecutive points, he's like on a streak. He wants his own way, but he misses his daughter that most. But he really wants to enjoy his most of a lifetime. Because of that happens, they're going to make another change on to make it in to go for everything. That's his first personal foul. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics, Terry White. After an offensive foul on Miami, here is White. Off to Jason Tatum. Tatum in the middle, jamming out. That one will put it in for the throwdown for the Boston Celtics. Adding another one of under four minutes. 64 is the score. Rogier will now have a chance over to Butler. Butler makes his way across to Bam out of bio. The back step to Butler. Rogier gives it now over now to Highsmith. And back to Rogier. The takeover. Butler, will he have another one? And this one's off the rim. And it goes right back to Al Horford. Now it's straight shooting out there. Now the pretty play to sell in. And Tatum, a number two pointer. 80 to 66 is the score. Hayward I Smith from 11. And he is catching his breath down by one point. Here's Bam on the bio. And the pass now finds to Rogier. Final three minutes of the fourth quarter. As Butler will now try to make his way in to hook a new move on Hayward I Smith. Gives down to Rogier. Here's our carrier of the two. And it's off the glass. And it's now rebounded by Hewitt. Holiday. Now he has his way to Tatum. Over Butler, over Ice Smith, no good. Great defensive effort as Bam Adebayo is pushing his way to Rogier. Here's an air take. High Smith. Brings it back to Rogier. Gives to Adebayo. And here comes Butler with another two. Able to answer that down. Butler with 28 points. And it's on Bio with the assist. They're down to two in the market in the fourth. It's holiday now now and over to Rogier. Holiday with a chance ever. And it's lost the ball. Haywood Highsmith. One on one attacker. And Highsmith can't make the finish. Hero will now try to give it over to Bowler. Gives it over now by the Bio. Trying to give over to Hero for a number two. And it's Bamsy! Great bucket score for Tyler Hero, and with under two minutes, a timeout to be called by Boston. Well, they're going to have to talk it over right now. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen now. They really are expecting that they're out of gas right now. They're getting defeated already. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen now, but sure enough, this won't be a great way to make the selection. All that happens to be like a little grass thing out. Just look outside right With your next game, as we send back to NHL, this will be our next game in Game 5, as we walk out to Dallas Stars, face it against the Canucks. That will be back at Vancouver this time. That will be happening here at 9 p.m. That will be only on Center Beast for the Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup. Be sure to catch it all year round here by watching the playlist 
and the finals of the Stanley Cup and the NBA Finals beginning on July 3rd and July 6th. With that being said, right now with June 26th, it has been postponed as right now we are making another new change off. We're trying to find another way to get this thing through off Ben City. So we will have a little more time to get the effort. And all that happens now is another new change up. But thanks for your convenience. We'll get back to you shortly. And now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. When you know for Jimmy Butler, the basket needs to have that all other reception. That playable is just all it does happen now to make that all career lifetime. It's a moment. I really like that Jimmy Butler has been like catching it in. All that scores turn out to be amazing. Playoff inbounding right now, looking for his way to enter in the finals the second time. After the loss against the Golden State Warriors, he'll try to find out if he can get there through. Now here's Brown, step back. Up in the layup, no good. Rozier, with the crowd leading their way down. It's now a 60-84-66. Rozier now has it over now to Hero. Hero, up for two. That's an our miss for Miami. Off the holiday, and here's White. White, a step back. Rozier is trying to watch a screen. Give off to KP. And that is rolled right Back to Jimmy Butler. He has three rebounds of the night. He now finds it a buy-up. The give over back to Butler. Butler making his way, shooting over White. And another Smith butts it up for Jimmy Butler. Holiday making his way through. A chance for the effort. Now finds White. Moves his way across that line, Roper. On it. Right toward the middle with a shot. Got it through. But another two pointer for Drew Holiday. Down to 41 seconds in the fourth. They're not going to keep a scoring right now because the Miami Heat, they're been knocking it out right now. I think they're ready to advance now to game six. If they win again, then they're going to the finals to face against the Mavs. The bear on the bio up and got it to go. What a chance play for Jimmy Butler. 14 points for Bam on the bio. An excellent takeover. Now you see me, now you know. Brown missed the two, three pointer. And that's gonna do it for game five. Miami Heat up its way in the lead, and maybe six to 68 to score. And what a disappointment effort. Another shock and awe moment for Miami. So they will lead it this time. Now it's a three two series, Miami. Now with that score, Jimmy Butler has been scoring crazy. That's what's happening for now. Play through real, doesn't mean anyone in the stuff. They gotta get through big. And now we'll catch you down to the court side. We have, we have is David Aldridge. David, who do you have? Thanks very much, Bam. Your impact is seen all over the stat sheet. So what's the mindset as you approach these games? I'm trying to get a team win, trying to impact winning. You know, that's what it's all about. My team has got my back like I got there. So he's going out there and trying to do our thing. It's very visible there. Down the stretch, you look like yourselves and got the win. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. And that about wraps it up, folks. Paintbrush, along with Set of Beasts and Light Brain, and David Older from the sideline, we wish you all a have a wonderful, amazing evening. And we'll see you all later for our next game of the NBA postseason. Have a wonderful night, and so long in Boston. All right, thank you so much, guys. And this one was an epic to make a scanage back for Miami Heat to keep on going. Pressure things up, it's just a turn off to make that one come back in. And that's right, I was really noticing that Miami Heat has been like, oh, it, like struggle already. I mean, now they're like catching their way in there. I think they're ready to advance to game six. It's gonna be a long way down. Hope so. I think there might be a great opportunity right here. Here's how you did with the total statistics. 67 field goals for Miami Heat. Have made 73 pointers already for Miami Heat. 80 free throws for Boston Celtics with 12 fast break points. 44 points in the paint for Miami Heat. Six second chance points for Boston Celtics. 
and it was 23 bench points for Miami Heat with 34 assists. Six offensive rebounds for Boston Celtics. 26 defensive rebounds for Miami with three steers. And one block only happens to be Boston Celtics, making that one a clear one to go out. Both teams are even up with six. Two team fouls for Boston, with three dunks performed. 19 biggest lead of a game with 17-23 time position for Miami Cat. Been playing it like that, and now this is where it comes down for three star players of the game in game number five. Tyler, all for you. All right, thank you so much right now. As we're ready to start things over for three star players of the game, here they are. Starting things up here as we got a great one to go in between. Jalen Brown at 15 points with one rebound with three assists. He only had six out of 14 field goals as this made. Two out of three pointers have already been cutting it in with six three pointers. That has to be performance in a 23 epic run with one dunk in between. Hopefully this will keep on going if he does. Second star player in the game is right now it goes to Derek White with 15 points with one rebound. He only had made that one with a two assists. Seven out of 11 field goals it's made. One three pointer and 19 performance effort. He just made that one clean. Gotta give that one a good credit to Derek White. Played for big. And your number one star for the New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. 28 points, three rebounds, two assists, 12 out of 18 field goals with two three-pointers out of four, and it was 32 performance effort. He's been like a wrapping a phenomenon for JB Buckets, and that might be one of his epic journey range for next career. I think he's ready for the next win, if he has it all. And that's going to wrap it up. With along with me, Tyler Bass, and Wood Spirity, this has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals on Two Kai Sports. Stick around as we have Game 6 underway soon, and for the next part of the game for tomorrow, we have is the Stars facing against the Canucks. Now we on the other side to get your next game on the board. In the meantime, that is it. See you folks next time for the NBA Eastern Conference Finals dial on Two Kai Sports. Good night, everybody, and so long in Boston. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.